What is cracking you fishing Jim Oaks, Eastern PA Fishing here. Today we are about to head to a secret creek. Not too many people know about this creek, but the people that do are kind of stupid and they post it all over fish brain and social media. So don't be that guy. Anyway, we are definitely gonna catch ourselves some fresh stock trout today. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, please scroll down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel if you have not already. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. First hole of the day. Glad to see we have a place for ourselves. And that's a big dead deer in the water. So I don't think we're gonna fish at this spot. Feels like a creek chub. Ah, man, yeah, there's nothing but a bunch of creek chubs here. It's kind of banking on some of these more off the main trail spots paying off for me. They might have only stocked the more obvious holes. Especially if I'm getting nothing but creek chub bites out here. I at least want to catch one trout before it's soaking wet. Well, we already took spill number one for the day. Good to check every little hole in this creek. You never know where they throw a bucket or two. Now, this is the hole that was way off the beaten trail that maybe someone took a bucket way upstream and just chucked it here for their own little private stock. And it seems they didn't throw any buckets here this year. Oh well, let's head back downstream, hit some of those more familiar spots. Now that we have a different lure on, we can hit some of the holes that we hit on the way back and hopefully catch some trout out of them. The only trout that I saw today was one lonely Palomino, and he had definitely broke free from the school where he was stocked and took off downstream. Rogue Palomino sitting in the creek all by himself. Definitely no other trout around him either. It's always like this the first week or so after they stop really have to search around for these fish sometimes but hopefully our dedication will pay off now see if I was stocking this creek this would definitely be one of those little spots where I would have thrown a bucket but we're not even getting any follows here so they obviously didn't stock here <sighs> once you get in the dead deer hole have to stay upstream of that thing guess we might as well go hit the most obvious spot here there's Mr. Palomino down there you guys probably can't see him at all because of the reflection on the screen up and down the creek today. Can't seem to figure out what they want. The elusive fall stock trout. None of them will bite a thing. I was not recording. We have a nice fish on here. Finally, I am praying I can land this dude. Man, that is a real nice rainbow. On the Rapala track down. Man, I've been fishing for about two and a half, three hours. Oh my gosh, let me land this giant trout. Oh my gosh, what a pig. Oh my gosh, that is a giant rainbow. Oh, I'm so pissed I wasn't recording. That's okay though. Look at that jerk bait. He just straight engulfed that. Holy smokes, dude. Look at that, dude. That is a giant rainbow. His front lip's a little dinged up. I didn't do that. Maybe that was in the hatchery. But look at that, dude. Holy smokes, finally caught one from the fresh stock. Let's get him back here. And there he goes, right off. Like and subscribe for more. Certainly had to put in the time today to get that dude to bite. Oh my gosh. Man, that felt good. Hopefully we can get another one here. Oh man, I have literally been up and down the creek today. I have fished all these spots in this general area. There are a whole bunch of spots that they stocked on this creek, but I just fished these ones in this little area within a, probably within about a half a mile stretch. Man, <sighs> took all day for that one bite. But man, I'd say that was definitely worth it. Just threw this little Rapala jerk bait out there, this little track down, gave it a couple twitches, came right over and grabbed it. 
Oh man, that stinks. I wasn't recording though. Well, I wonder if we're gonna get anything else from this hole. That was awesome. Such an unlikely hole too. I'm sure this spot gets passed up all the time. They stock some nice trout in here. Maybe not a billion of them, but they don't really typically stock a ton of fish in the fall. Man, they definitely stock some nice ones. Quality fish. Man, I was really banking on catching a fish at the next few holes here. Either I was gonna head home or I was gonna have to literally probably drive to another spot. Cause the next spot that I know of where there definitely are fish is probably about, I don't know, mile and a half upstream, close to it, at least when you're walking up the creek. I don't think there's a road that takes you directly there. And the other spot from the back end of this stretch where I started today's adventure is probably also another mile to a mile and a half downstream. I am just glad we were able to make something happen here today. I'm gonna make my way a little further upstream, maybe hit some of those spots that I hit earlier today. Maybe it just needed to warm up a little bit. Finally got the first bite and the first fish in the bag. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna get through all these thorns. This makes me wanna go back across that one creek that I had to cross earlier. I wonder if that spot that I thought there wasn't anything in did have some trout in it. I can't remember if I tried the jerk bait there or not though. All right, screw it. I'm going up here. I'm gonna check out that hole one more time. Well, once again, made it across the creek. Let's try these couple holes here. Doesn't seem like they did the best stock this year, but we'll see. If I was a trout, I'd hang out here. But I don't think there's anything in this spot. Let's venture up to this one other hole that I know of. And then from there, I guess we are truly gonna decide whether or not we are gonna make the trek all the way upstream or we are gonna venture all the way downstream. And I guess that also means I'm gonna have to fish all those holes that I hit on the way up here on the way back. I don't know what the deal was with this spot last year, but it was way upstream from all the main holes. I was kind of confused about how it got stocked. I think someone must have just randomly took a bucket up here. So hopefully the same thing happened this year. Honestly, no idea what motivated me to come back up to this hole. I guess I just kind of had to see for myself. I don't really remember if I threw the jerk bait here. Oh well, the one thing I can say is it's good to know that they didn't stock here. That just means I don't have to waste time coming up here next time. I guess I decided I'm heading back downstream. Just didn't really seem worth to travel all the way up there. Not saying I don't have to travel far to some of the spots that I want to hit today, but at the same time, there is also a paved path to those spots. So it's a lot easier than walking through these woods. Trust me on that. Uh, here's the bridge I had to build. It's kind of ghetto, it gets the job done out in the middle of the creek and I'm not getting wet yet. Yet, being the key word. Holy smokes, all right. Well, that fell to pieces underneath me, so that's no longer usable. All right. Well, good thing we don't have to go back up there because they didn't stock. Well, that was actually some wrong information that I gave you guys there. They did stock further upstream, but the stretch of creek in between here and there is quite some ways. Well, I kind of didn't realize that I am down to 18% of the GoPro charge. I guess we're gonna kind of have to bank on catching a fish in these next couple spots, or the GoPro is just gonna die, and then I'll probably start catching a ton of fish, which is typically what happens. Sometimes it takes an entire GoPro charge just to figure out the fish. And it just so happens that today was maybe one of those days, but I also find it kind of odd that I threw this jerk bait for quite some time and that was the only fish that I have gotten to bite the entire day. Still a good day of trout fishing. I mean, any day when you go out fishing and you catch something, it's definitely a good day of fishing. You know, it's not always about the numbers or the size, even though we caught a very nice trout today. Definitely got some size on that dude. Sometimes it's just about getting out of the house, enjoying nature. Anyway, I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you did, please scroll down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel if you have not already. Eastern PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay tuned, and always stay fishy.